Good afternoon. I'm Caitlin Matson, and this is the Classical Cafe. I'm joined by Mark Laycock, Dr. Mark Laycock, Professor of Orchestra from Wichita State University. You are already hitting the ground running this semester, preparing for next week's fall concert. Welcome, and tell us all about it. Well, thank you. Um, uh, Dr. Shade, our, our department chair and wind ensemble conductor, he and I were talking just last week about the philosophy of just starting out with a performance. Uh, we've we've been in school now for four weeks. Um, the Wind Ensemble has their first performance this Thursday, which we should plug a little bit, and then the orchestra the next week uh, at the end of uh, at the end of the fifth week. So it's uh, Thursday, September twenty second. Um, we are featuring David Hunsaker, our esteemed uh, professor of trumpet. He's also uh, principal trumpet of the Wichita Symphony Orchestra. And he is performing uh, an unusual piece uh, in that it wasn't originally written for trumpet. So it was a violin concerto by Giuseppe Tartini. Um, it's been adapted, arranged for trumpet. Um, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, performance by David. And we'll also feature uh, Beethoven's Symphony Number no. 5, something that uh, is going to be near and dear to, uh, to many listeners. And um, open the concert with a brand new piece. It's by uh, Kevin Day, um, a relatively young composer, born in 1996. What? And That's when I graduated high school. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And and uh, but he's just really on a meteoric rise. Uh, fantastic, especially on the wind, uh, you know, the band side. But uh, he's got some great orchestral pieces as well. And we're going to be performing his Manhattan Nights to open the concert. And how did you um, come to know about him? That's a great question. Um, I've been, he's been on my bucket list now because as young as he is, it, you know, for the last three, four years, I keep seeing his name and I have colleagues saying, you got to check out this Kevin Day. The music he is writing is fun to play. It's pedagogically sound. So it's going to be teaching our students something and audiences just eat it up. And so, uh, you know, conductors were always talking about, hey, did you hear, do you know this piece where if you need a five minute piece that, that you know, mm -hmm. we always have those conversations, we're pretty boring people. <laughs> um, and and uh, so uh, this piece, yeah, came to my attention a couple of years ago and I've been searching kind of for the right place to, to, to plug it in. And I think to start our 2022, 23 season, um, it, it's making a bold statement. David Hunsinger, professor of trumpet, appears as a soloist with the Wichita State University Symphony Orchestra uh, next Thursday, September the 22nd at 7.30. Their concerts are in Miller Concert Hall and led by Dr. Mark Laycock. You can purchase tickets at the door or through the Fine Arts Box Office in advance. If you would like um, uh, to purchase those tickets, the Fine Arts Box Office number, if, if you have a pen and paper handy, is 316 nine seven eight three two three three looking ahead at the rest of your school year um what kind of exciting things do you have planned for your students well um i'm glad you asked we have another concert geez four five weeks down the road so mid uh october i think it's october 20th and another new piece this is by peter boyer and it's called ellis island the dream of america I first became familiar with the piece, uh, a PBS broadcast of the Pacific Symphony. Yes. Uh, I think with, I saw this. Is it with chorus? It is not. And I thought it was originally. Was st too. starting to talk to our, our choir people here. Can we collaborate? And, and we did some research. Uh, there's no chorus. There's uh, narration. Mm. Uh, you can either have seven uh, different voice actors or just kind of two narrators. And there are also visuals. So we're going to be having historic photographs of, of immigrants in El, uh, Ellis Island. Um, the narration is in uh, the words of these immigrants. So they really bring their experience to life. And the music is, is fantastic. It's kind of a cop out to say it's John Williams-esque, but this music is bold and brassy and heartfelt. Um, it's, we're really excited to present that in, uh, in October. We'll talk more with Dr. Mark Laycock in just a few moments. Uh, we'll take a short break to listen to um, 
a piece of music that nobody's really heard of. Um, it's actually called Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. <laughs> We're going to hear a few minutes of the opening, and we'll be back to talk with Dr. Laycock. Beethoven's Fifth Symphony is programmed for next Thursday evening's concert with the Wichita State University Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Dr. Mark Laycock, also featuring guest soloist David Hunsaker, who is the professor of trumpet and also principal trumpet of the Wichita Symphony. We were talking uh, with Dr. Laycock about this upcoming program, uh, but then also you have your entire year planned out ahead already. And one of the things you're uh, currently looking ahead towards is your November concert. Always uh, a, a privilege uh, to collaborate with Lynn Davis, our um, uh, endowed chair in Oregon here. Um, those of you who aren't familiar with the Wichita State campus, we have this magnificent Marcus in Oregon um, and a recital hall that was literally custom built around it. Um, it's a bit of a squeeze to get us on stage, but that in minor inconvenience <laughs> is, is worth it because anytime we have... Um, uh, an opportunity to collaborate with Dr. Davis. It is uh, a wonderful experience. So uh, in, uh, in November, November 28th, a Monday evening, right after Thanksgiving, uh, we are going to uh, perform with her the Poulenc Organ Concerto. Uh, we have uh, Guimont uh, Symphony Number no. 1, which is a just a magnificent romantic symphony for organ and orchestra. And since it's nearing the holiday season, we're going to close with a um, a medley of uh, Christmas carols, basically an audience sing-along. So we're going to ask folks to join in uh, about a ten-minute uh, medley of all the all the favorite uh, carols you can uh, you can imagine. It's not too early for me. Um, <laughs> I turn on my Christmas music during Thanksgiving dessert. <laughs> so I'm always sure. ready, ready to go. That yeah. sounds like a wonderful concert. Just looking um, at the School of Music and what we have going on this month in September, not only the Wichita Symphony, the Wichita State University Symphony Orchestra concert on Thursday, the 22nd, but we also have a faculty artist, Carmen Lemoyne, her recital in Wiedemann Hall, uh, Saturday, the 17th at three o'clock. Um, and also the Wichita State University Wind Ensemble plays in Miller Concert Hall on the 15th as well. Let's see what else the Wichita State University Fairmount Trio performs on the 25th. So, and and, and like it, I'm sorry, and, and just plugging that uh, Wind Ensemble concert this Thursday, they are also doing a Kevin Day piece. And, and really? uh, Tim Shade and I both, we, we, we don't consult when we program, and <laughs> we both felt, geez, here's this young composer that really deserves to be on a program. And we both arrived at, fortunately, two different pieces, but um, we both acknowledge this Kevin Day is, is somebody that the audience needs to be familiar with. I guess so. Kevin Day, a name for all of us to have in our minds. Maybe we'll go Google him, look on YouTube, see if we can't see some of his work and hear some of his work. That's really exciting that he's being featured twice at Wichita State University. Now, being that he is a young contemporary composer. When you are programming a new work, um, newer work with, with a living composer, do you, is there a lot of freedom? Do you feel in collaboration to reach out to these composers and have a phone call beforehand, you know, kind of talk through it? Um, depends on the, on the composer. I haven't reached out to, to Kevin. I pro I probably should. Um, but as an example, um, the Wichita Youth Symphony is performing a piece by Ingrid Stolzel who is on the faculty at uh, University of Kansas. And um, I reached out to her um, just basically saying hello, since she is a you know nearby colleague and uh, thanking her for this wonderful piece. And she immediately wrote back, uh, very gracious and said she would be happy to, to do a Zoom session with our students in the Youth Symphony. So um, first weekend in, in October, we're going to have an audience with this composer whose music we're preparing. So we're really looking forward to that. You mentioned the Wichita Youth Symphony Orchestras. Uh, tell us about your role with the, that organization. Well, I, I uh, conduct the Wichita Youth Symphony, and, and I guess I'm, I'm kind of at least titular director of the program. Tiffany Rhodes is, is uh, uh, really our heart and soul of, of making this thing happen. Um, mm -hmm. But um, we, yeah, we just 
gotten together, like you say, with the school year. So uh, early in August, we reassembled the troops with our, our four ensembles and uh, we're gearing up for performances in mid-November. I love this time of year. Everybody starts <laughs> performing again after taking a little break. It's exciting. I love seeing a full calendar. Um, and we're going to certainly enjoy this concert on the 22nd with the Wichita Symphony, Wichita State University Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Dr. Mark Laycock, featuring guest artist, faculty artist, David Hunsicker, who is not only the professor of trumpet, but also the principal uh, trumpet player from the Wichita Symphony. That concert is in Miller Concert Hall, Thursday, September the 22nd at 7.30. You can get your tickets in advance or buy them at the door, I imagine. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Fine Arts Box Office, 613-978-3233. Have a wonderful concert, and I'm excited that school's back in session, and I hope everything you have going on goes smoothly and you have a great time. Well, thank you, and thank you and uh, Radio Kansas for your support. We always appreciate um, the, the efforts to get the word out.